We see more school threats every year and already at least one a week in Central Texas since the start of the new year. Yeah, schools are focusing on getting active shooter training or what's called guardian training in case of emergency situations like possible threats. The Moody Independent um, School District faced a tough question three years ago. It's not anything we went into easy. Uh, that when, when you think about what this is really entailing. They now let trained teachers and faculty carry firearms on school campuses. It's been a process and it's, it's been a great process and we've got people that I think will protect our kids and that's that's the most important thing. And Moody ISD doesn't have campus security and ultimately we're rural and we needed some other uh, options to, to help make sure that we were safe. Teachers and faculty have gone under countless training and Johnny Price specializing in those trainings has seen an increase of interest from school districts across the state. And then we had it right happen right here in Texas with Santa Fe and that was kind of the straw that really sent a lot of schools wanting to go ahead and get additional training. Once trained, school staff has decided to be the first line of defense in an emergency situation. I think that what anybody has to understand is that this is a uh, people volunteer to do this job. That's that's tough. Because for some, being a teacher is now more than educating our children. You're asking people that are teachers you know that they got in this profession to change lives, but they also got into it to protect them. Although a difficult decision in the beginning, it's left a safer feeling for everyone in the end. It was very hard for these seven board members that I stand here uh, representing this community, but, but they have supported it. And I think that's the most important thing and that there are people that will stand up for our kids. So we're proud of that. Sierra Shipley, 25 News, Moody. Moody ISD did not want to publicize how many teachers were trained or who have their CHL to carry on school campuses as a safety precaution for them. But they say since the training, they still undergo constant retraining after the Mart ISD threat last week. They will be with Johnny Price with Big Iron tonight so their teachers can go through the guardianship program as well. Now, some of you might be asking, what is school safety officer guardian training and what does the class entail? Well, the course is 16 to 20 hours and includes tactics in deny, denying an intruder entry into a classroom or school facility, how to think and act under stress, how to defend against an intruder using items commonly available in a classroom, and much more. Moody ISD took the guardianship program from Big Iron Handgun License Training, and his number one rule is to always be alert and inquisitive making sure all the doors are shut. Those are things that every teacher can do. Make sure the door shuts when you come in. Make sure when you walk out that you, your head's on a swivel. The end of each class comes with a certificate and if choosing to do so, a CHL to carry on school campuses if that district allows it. Already this year, Four schools have dealt with lockdowns because of potential threats. On January 8th, Mart ISD was notified about a student making a threat to the high school on social media. And on January 13th, Coppers Cove High School was put on lockdown after a student brought an illegal knife to campus. Another threat was made against Lorena ISD after a picture on January 16th was found at the middle school showing possible harm to their schools. And the most recent happening this past Friday after Whitney Middle School was put on a precautionary lockdown after a bomb threat was made.